Okay, welcome to this uh, PHP tutorial series. Um, in this series, I'm going to be showing you how to create, well, how to send e um, attachments, email attachments. Um, so basically, this is sending files via email. Um, so the system we're going to be creating is this fairly pointless little example. Um, so the user will fill in this form. So they'll enter their, they'll enter their name, select a file, hit email file. And what this will do is send that file to the email address. So I've got this uh, inbox open here, and you can see I've done a bit of testing already. So um, when they click send, one of these messages will appear. Obviously the subject and um, the actual message is up to you. I just, well it says here is something because the title will send me something. Um, so I just open this email up, this is what we're going to be sent. If I just open this email up, there we go. Um, so it's just a short message that shows you the file details, so it's just the name, the size in bytes, which isn't very friendly, and the type. Um, I didn't really put much thought into this, uh, these tabs probably don't look that good either. Uh, but I just wanted to sort of show that um, you can like send a message as well as the file uh, quite easily as well really. Um, and obviously the file is this, and you can see the file is actually attached. If I just click on that, we'll be sent to the page that shows you the little file type thing, if it ever loads. My connection is quite slow at the moment, which is kind of annoying. Um, I'm actually uploading a video, so yeah. Um, I'll make sure that um, I'm not uploading a video when I start the actual system, because at the moment it actually takes quite a while for the email to come through, because it has to obviously upload the file. Um, so if I just close this, I'll demonstrate, well, I'll demonstrate how slow it is uh, by um, just sending an actual a, a new email so you can see that it actually works. So if I just type in a name, Simon will do, and the file, we will just select a random file, hit email file. The page loads instantly, but that's actually now queued. It hasn't actually been sent and received. It's queued for sending by the mail server. Um, so going back to the webmail and hit the inbox button, loading dot dot dot. You can see we don't actually get a file an email straight away. Um, so I'm going to have to try and think of some sort of filler to talk about here. Oh, oh I know. Oh I've got an email. Well I I've got something to say so I'll do it afterwards. So you see we get this new email. Here is something. It's subject. Um, it's different size. Obviously this new image is a bit bigger. If I just open this email up you should see if it ever loads that uh, we get different file details and we get the um, the different image, the image I selected. Obviously clicking this will do the same thing. Um, so just the thing I wanted to mention is that I won't be explaining like too much in detail what all of the little, cause it's quite fiddly in a way, there's quite a lot of, sort of awkward things to do to send an attachment, sort of technical email boring stuff. Um, I'll probably just direct you to Wikipedia to explain that because that's where I got it from so that's that. Um, and the other thing is that I'm not going to, like I've already done a video on how to send emails with PHP, so I'm not going to be covering, well sort of indirectly I've got to talk about how to send an email because it's just a mail function, but what, we're, what we are going to be doing is creating a new function that sort of wraps around that, so um, yeah, I'm not going to be talking too much about how to specifically send email, just email with attachments. Um, so you should, if you haven't watched, if you don't know how to send emails, or you haven't, if if you don't know how to, if you don't know how to send emails, go and watch my um, email video. Or if you t have watched it and still don't know, then tell me because I've done it wrong. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching part zero, and join me in part one where we'll just start coding this. Uh, basically, it's just one function. So hopefully, it'll be over by part one. Okay, that's basically it.